Hmm. Late start today. Uh, let's see this week. What are we doing? Um, newsletter to serialized essay, nature of software. First one from the actual properties, levels of scale. How do I take a purely geometric concept like levels of scale and apply it to the creation of software? I have some ideas, been thinking about it for a while, been writing a bunch of notes. Gonna be writing those notes into an actual chunk of text today. Um, I don't know if I'll finish it today because I rarely finish things the day that I start them um, when it comes to writing. Especially I like something on the order of three, 4,000 words. So maybe today, probably tomorrow, possibly Wednesday for that. What else? This week, I think, when I have time, I am going to push the final sort of overhaul re-architecture of the Swiss Army knife thing. There's a lot of things that are hard coded in its sort of structure that assumes a bunch of stuff about how it ought to work. And it's gonna be a bit of a slog to sort of rejigger that so that it is not insane. Like just as a for instance, like, okay, so I have like two classes of, of data source, right? I've got opaque and transparent. Opaque is files or whatever. Transparent is um, just data. And the way that the actual engine works or whatever you want to call it is that it merges the two together. So it's got to take the data out of the, the files out of the source, which is just a Git or it's actually a Mercurial repository, but that doesn't matter. Take it out of version control and then transform a bit of it, transform it a, a minor amount, and then stick that at a target. And it's just a static site generator. So there's a couple things in there. Number one, I have like this sort of document class that, that, that does this. So I have a context class that like holds all the configuration information, like about like the source and the target and where you're gonna get the data from and where you're gonna put it. And it's got the like uh, transparent information. It's got a, a triple store in it for the all the the graph data, and yeah. So and then it's got a bunch of stuff that's kind of like some stuff is peculiar to the actual, yeah, the target where the the stuff gets saved for the the uh, static site. So there's some rewrite maps that get generated. There's like a Google site map that gets generated. Um, there's atom feeds that get generated and then there's like a few like HTML files that get generated as well. So uh, what I wanna do with those is the, the maps are, I would say that I would associate them purely with this sort of static site thing, especially, or as, as well as the target um, so the, the target directory and the rewrite maps, they're actually part of the static site thing. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to bust out the static site thing as its own class, whatever you want to call it, driver. Because you could imagine a different driver that's like not static. It's actually running stuff on the fly, which is the eventual goal. And so if I move the architecture in a way that, yeah, the harness right now has rewrite maps and all of those indexes, like all of those, basically I'm calling an index is anything that's completely generated. So feeds, um, document stats, so all of the quantitative stuff that, that, that gets pulled out of the documents, uh, lexicon, um, book, and bibliography list. Um, and then I'm gonna do another index for like entities, like people, organizations, that kind of stuff. And so, and then the document class, uh, which 
actually pulls the stuff out of source, out of the, uh, out of the uh, information source, the actual content source, what am I saying? Um, that also has like a method which was really kind of done, I mean, it made sense at the time, but it's, you know, if there's one that's called write to target. So, you know, the idea is you, you call context visit the URL, that'll give you a document object with the, the data pulled out of source, wherever the source is, and parsed. And then you say write to target, that does the transformation and writes it to the target. So the problem with that architecture is that write to target is actually like a property that like the, that is a property of the static site thingy. And then the, so the, the document class is basically too tightly coupled to both the source and the target. So um, what I would ideally want to do is I have the document class because the document class has the context in it as a member or you pass it in in the constructor. Then the, the doc, yeah, so the document class is basically, it's, what I want to do is I want to be able to move all those indexes that are completely generated into their own, you know, whatever, subclasses of the documents or whatever. And really the only difference of them is going to be they're going to be generated rather than taking the data out of some kind of source. And so then what I can do is I can generalize the source, like where the data is coming from as a source, which I actually want to do anyway, because um, there are other other kinds of classes of data source. Like I might, you know, I want to be able to just say like, take the data from this URL or take the content from this URL, you know, or whatever, and put it, parse it. And then that'll give me the, the current operating state over the thing. And whether it gets taken from data and, you know, taken from disk or, or generated on the fly, like I don't want it to matter. And then like what happens to it after, after it gets transformed uh, for consumption uh, by the end user is, you know, you either write it out to disk uh, in the, um, uh, to the target, which is the static site generator. So I'll bust out the static site generator part and say like, you know, here's the displayed, not displayed driver, but what do you want to call it? Rendering surface or whatever. And then, you know, and then, and then so that right to target thing will actually be a part of the, of the say the static site generator part. So um, it's basically re-architecting, moving a bunch of stuff around uh, is what's going to be on the docket for this week. And that... I believe is it. So I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to get to the damn pool.